Hello, hello. Uh, this is Chris Morton with another episode of Wine and Real Estate TV here today with our guest, Pat West from Vinos Finos up in North Raleigh. Pat, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much, Chris. It's a pleasure to be here. And of course, I'm always here, but that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different story, but I'm pumped. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, if you would, about, about uh, the, your, your restaurant and wine bar and, and retail location here that we're sitting in. This is beautiful. Sure. Uh, we're located in Lafayette Village in North Raleigh on Falls of Noose and Huntingcut. And it's a European styled village. Uh, really, you feel like you're in Europe when you're here. Absolutely. And uh, we have outdoor seating. Uh, we're basically a wine bar that is uh, South America themed. Um, we also have food. And then the last part is we're a retail store. Very cool, very cool. Well, what uh, wines do you have for us here to try today? Today is an another wine episode, and so very excited about this. Well, I'm excited to show you these because they're, they're really symbolic of uh, South America. We have wines from Argentina and Chile. And our, our very first one is going to be a wine called Tarantes. Mm. Uh, the winemaker, his name is Don Manuel. Um, and the reason why I think it's wonderful, it's actually a, a white, crisp wine, uh, very dry. Um, wow. And if you take some time to smell, it smells like jasmine and gardenias. Right. Um, and so your brain says, oh, that's going to be sweet. And when mm -hmm. you taste it. Syrupy sweet, but not at all. It's very dry. It's bone dry to wow. me. Um, and yet it has a, like, this like really nice crisp uh, finish and it has Pretty. some uh, strong acidity and minerality to it. And so it goes great with seafood. Uh, yeah, I was here, gonna say. Here at the restaurant, we pair it with a um, pan-sheared um, sea scallop with bacon. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, and sometimes even a, a fettuccine Alfredo uh, with crab meat. I'll need to remember that next time I come in to, to get those scallops to try it with this. I am not a huge white wine drinker, as many of you know, but this is definitely something I would encourage. It's definitely not, um, super sweet or super chardonnay-y. No, it's, it's again, it's, work. it's very stainless steel, by the way. Yeah. Um, and so it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's just mm. excellently crisp. Um, wow. It's really nice. And um, it's really wow. a cool place. Salta, Argentina, 9,300 feet above sea level, which is crazy. I would, um, yeah. The skins basically don't sunburn. Um, they get thicker and it just is a, a lovely, lovely wine. At and that height, so is gravity do they float into outer space at that height? Uh, no, uh, although it's up there. Um, <laughs> what, what is cool, though, is the um, thin air. Basically, you're, you're yeah. sucking wind because yeah. uh, if you're not used to 9,000 feet, I mean, it's taller than Denver. So um, you either need to be physically fit or um, carrying around a gas tank with uh, you. Well, yeah. Uh, oxygen tank. I mean. Oxygen tank for me. <laughs> about what does this retail for? Uh, about uh, 17 to okay. 18, I believe, Good somewhere stuff. there. Great bottle. It great, is a great, great bottle. bottle. Wow. Thank you for this. Oh, you're welcome. So item number two is probably my favorite um, wine by the glass. It's called Tikal, and it's oh, made yeah. by um, Ernesto Catena. If you're not familiar, Catena is the guy mm. who made uh, Malbec in Argentina world famous, um, a real pioneer. Um, if you remember, um, Malbec is historically a Bordeaux grape, and uh, where it rains, cold, um, and versus Argentina, hot, dry, never freezes. Um, and mm. it ha also has something in it called Bernarda, which was the number one planted grape in Argentina um, up until 1990s. Really? Um, Argentina number five in the world for wine production, so mm. they make a lot of juice, but the bad news or the good news is that up until 1990, they never exported any, they drank it all. Right. Um, there are a bunch of Europeans who love their wine just fine. <laughs> um, and uh, this is actually a 60% uh, Malbec and 40% Bernarda. Uh, Bernarda is a light bodied wine, so. Um, Combining it with a full body wine like Malbec, it becomes a medium body. Right. And uh, what's really gorgeous about it, besides the nose, uh -huh. is the fact that it um, goes well with food. Anything from pasta to pizza uh -huh. to steak, uh, just really, really universal. Uh, and it's soft tannins, just really sweet, um, fruit forward, delicious. I have friends that are not, uh, the, they don't drink the, the dark, dark, Big, thick reds that I drink, and they, they very much enjoy this because you sort of have the best of both worlds. You really do. It, it really, again, just expertly made. Uh, wow. Just a wonderful winery. Mm. And this is about how much would you say a bottle? Uh, it's 25 a 25 bottle. a bottle, you say? Okay. So, so it's a little pricey, but you know, to me, it's uh, definitely a Friday night wine because uh, yeah. uh, you worked hard all week. You might as well uh, relax and, and give yourself a pat on the back absolutely, and enjoy it. Absolutely, absolutely. I've definitely had many a glass of of this stuff in your, in your uh, restaurant and wine bar here yeah, many it, times. For us, it goes great with the uh, skirt steak with chimichurri. Yeah. It's just uh, amazing. Wow, I believe it. What do we have third? Number three, we're going to switch countries on you. We're going to okay. go to Chile. And um, this is actually a, uh, a wine called Carmenere, oh, if wow. you're not familiar. Uh, it's made by Casa Silva. 
and uh, out of Santiago, Chile. And um, the Carbonera actually was a lost grape. Uh, hmm. It has a unique story in the fact that it originally um, it was grown in Bordeaux, France, um, used with um, the Grand Cruz, if you will. And uh, basically, there was an aphid that destroyed it uh, called a flifera, and um, not only destroyed all the crops in France, but also Italy, United States, mm. all over the world. Argentina, doesn't matter. Um, and yet, the stock arrived in Argentina, and some immigrants went from Argentina up over to Chile and planted it. Hmm. And um, basically, the entire world's crop got decimated, and um, they basically used the rootstock from Chile to regraft all the other world's crops. Oh. And the last part of that story is, is that in 1997, a gentleman from the United States, University of California, Davis, arrives in uh, Chile and is looking at all the various vineyards. And he goes to the uh, winemaker, what kind of grape is that over there? And huh. he says, oh, that's Merlot. The guy says, no, it's not. Not so much. Not so much. And uh, so he said, <laughs> I'll prove it to you. And he, so he said, would you mind if I take a cutting? He says, no. So he takes it, cuts it, takes it back to the University of California, Davis, does a DNA test on it, lo and behold, the world's lost Carmen year. Wow. So um, if you smell it, it, it's a little bit disgusting on the nose. It's very like green pepper. It's green pepper and barnyard. It's like fajita and barnyard. Manure. It's like a fajita. Uh, it's like well, a it's manure. Uh, <laughs> to me, it smells like manure. And, uh, mm. but, I don't quite get that, but okay. But to taste it, is, it's absolutely delicious. It's really good. So, so it has kind of a unique nose to it. Um, not necessarily pleasant to me, but some hmm. people like it. But it's really good. I think the question is if you're like, you know, riding horses and stuff and you like the smell of barnyards, it's all good. But um, for go. me, um, the That's nose nice. isn't so great, but the taste is absolutely divine. Yeah. Well, how, how, what would this retail for? Uh, that's for 22, good? I believe. Very good. Very, very good. Excellent. Well, thank you for these amazing wines today. I'm, I hope everyone's learned a little bit uh, and, and most certainly will come and visit you. But for, in order for them to visit you, they got to find out how to find you. So to give them a little info about your website well, and all that sort of thing. Well, thanks. Um, sure. Our website is www.venosfinosrally.com, V-I-N-O-S-F-I-N-O-S-R-A-L-E-I-G-H.com. Um, basically, on our website, you can get directions, but we're right off of 540 and Falls and Noose. Uh, we're located in this beautiful Lafayette village. It's mm. a European design. Uh, you can't you basically have to park your cars on the outside right. and um, we also have a lovely lovely patio that's uh, gorgeous in the springtime yeah. and summer and pretty much year-round uh, as you know North Carolina has beautiful weather and uh, Christmas Day I think it was 66 degrees out here but it's crazy yeah. but beautiful good stuff good good stuff well thank you again for coming Pat you, appreciate it appreciate absolutely it. For, in, for, uh, for further episodes, excuse me, of this, please go to Wine and Real Estate TV, which is uh, found at www.wineandre.com. Wineandre.com. Thanks a lot again, and Pat, cheers. Hello. Thank you, sir. <laughs>